embark on our second journey into the depths of our adversary's mind, Satan. Join us as we delve into his arsenal of tools, intricate plans, and cunning strategies. Discover how a peculiar statue captured his attention, igniting profound contemplation and intense internal dialogue. Witness his anticipation for divine reward, earned through relentless dedication and pivotal presence during the creation of Adam. Explore the depths of his thoughts, emotions, and intentions as we unveil the enigma of our eternal foe. Step forth into the journey ahead, where every revelation promises insight into the mind of our enemy. The peacock of Angel's mind became consumed with thoughts of the wondrous creature, causing him to forget the anticipated reward from God for his efforts in purifying the earth. As the angel's discussions faded into the background, he engaged in deep reflection, analysis, and internal dialogue. Why did God command the angels to bring four specific pieces of earth? What is the purpose of this statue in the future? Why haven't I been rewarded as God's successor on earth yet? Doubts and anxiety overwhelmed him as he sought answers within himself. He reasoned that God intended to create a successor on earth, using the four pieces of earth to shape the statue. However, upon internal deliberation, he dismissed the notion that the statue could be the caliph. He envisioned the successor as a strong warrior, capable of defending the earth and ruling with a firm hand. No, this statue made of clay is weak and hollow, incapable of fulfilling these requirements, he concluded. As he contemplated its purpose, he surmised that it might be related to the earth, but not as God's successor. Convinced of his own worthiness, strength, and devotion to God, he declared, Tomorrow I will be God's successor on earth. There is no one more deserving, stronger, or more worshipful than me. Overwhelmed by annoyance towards the statue, he distanced himself from it. Continuing to roam the earth, Checking on the jinn of his kind, he married one who was obedient to God. Restlessly waiting and meditating, he alternated between ascending to the holy sky to inquire about the statue and roaming the earth. Over more than forty years, the peacock of angels persisted in his waiting, an enduring testament to his unwavering determination. Finally, the awaited moment came. The peacock of the angels heard the call of the angels from heaven, ordering him to meet and urging him to quickly ascend towards the holy heaven. The reward, the reward, this is the crowning moment. Now I will be God's successor on earth, he shouted, filled with anticipation. In a wonderful scene, all the angels gathered, announcing that something extraordinary was about to happen. The angel peacock rejoiced at the good news, confident that this was the moment he had been eagerly waiting for, enduring the longing and occasional pain, the long-awaited moment to receive the key to the earth and raise God's banner upon it seemed at hand. But instead of his expected coronation moment, the council witnessed the creation of Adam from dust and water, marking the beginning of the human story. Although initially surprised and frustrated by the turn of events, the grandeur of the scene aroused the peacock's curiosity about this newly formed creature. When God Almighty breathed his spirit into the statue, the miraculous transformation occurred. The spirit flowed into Adam's body, awakening his senses and powers one after another. Seeing God's ability to bring life to the dormant statue left the angelic peacock in a state of silent awe. Adam, the father of humanity, uttered his first words, Praise be to God, as the angels commanded him. Each step of Adam's awakening filled onlookers with amazement, admiration, and submission to God's omnipotence. God commanded Adam to go to the angels and greet them, saying, Peace be upon you, al salam alaykum. The angels said, May God's peace, mercy, and blessings be upon you wa alikum al salam wa rahmat Allah wa barakato. So Adam returned to God and told him what they said. Then God Almighty said, This is a greeting to you and your descendants, declaring a moment of peace and blessing. With Adam entering paradise, the scene ended, 
offering a glimmer of hope to the angelic peacock regarding his fears about the succession of the earth. Upon his descent to earth, the angelic peacock found himself immersed in the events surrounding the creation of Adam, and his mind was swirling with many questions. Despite the turmoil of emotions, the desire to understand this wondrous creature and its importance overwhelmed all other thoughts, making the creation of Adam the most important news of the moment. Peacock was privy to two crucial revelations from the angels. Firstly, the inaugural utterance of this animate statue was, Praise be to God. Secondly, the angels conveyed a greeting to him and his descendants, signifying a significant acknowledgement. These revelations serve as foundational pieces in unraveling the true purpose of this living statue. As we continue our journey, anticipate the revelation of pivotal events that transformed the peacock of angels into a devil. Delve into his audacious challenge against God, his petition for specific tools before his expulsion, and the terms of engagement in the ensuing war. Be sure not to miss this pivotal chapter as it marks the genesis of our quest for survival and the pursuit of truth.